Hey guys, welcome to Aquamaniacs. Today's video is going to be all about why does a male molly fish turn skinny, skinny and gets more skinny and just ends up dead in your tank. So I'm going to be giving you three main reasons for this. Over the past few years, I have experienced many cases in many fry male fries and some female fries and mostly adult males often get this uh you know skinny look they it extremely get skinny where the gill starts popping out the body extremely extremely becomes thin and flat from both sides you can only see the gills popping out and bones and then they die they don't even consume food so i'm going to give you three major reasons for this according to me and my experience from keeping the molly fish over the past seven to eight years so reason number one is that this could be happening because of over mating and malnourishment so reason number two and reason number one are almost the same reason i'll tell you about that later stay tuned and watch the video till the very end and reason number three that this is happening and could happen with your molly fishes is that it's got infected by internal parasites so internal parasites and uh, malnourishment malnourishment is common in both the cases in over mating and in internal parasite when your fish is suffering from internal parasite it's not going to consume any food it's going to stop eating food completely the parasites are going to eat away its organ inside and there's nothing going to be left in it at all it's going to be juiceless you know because it's going to eat up each and every single thing suck each and every nutrition from its body so that's one reason and internal parasites are very common in fishes but there are different kinds of parasites and the one that you know catches these kind of mollies especially the males i don't know the reason is not precise because i am still experimenting on this but definitely i know that it's a very 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 rare and different kind of parasite that actually attacks these males and eats them up internally and now let's talk about reason number two that is over mating now over mating is something very common in mollies and guppies and what happens if you're going to see your molly getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer there are two reasons behind that or could be behind that one is that you're not feeding them enough you should feed a group of mollies if you have one male and three females or four five females or even two males you should feed them three to four times a day in little little feedings i always suggest you guys to always feed three to four times a day in little little feedings because naturally fish consume food that way so you can do that to prevent that and the second uh, reason that is happening is that you don't have enough time or your water is dirty your fish is suffering from internal parasites or it's not getting enough food and the reason behind that is that sometime female mollies big ones like these and these especially carrying uh, babies inside of them do get a bit dominant while feeding time so when it's a feeding frenzy they're often going to push away the male and not let him consume any food he might get two or three pellets but that's not going to do uh, any good for him especially if you have big size of mollies and if you're feeding very less so even if you're feeding three to four times a day 
he might not get any of those feeding for one single day maybe the second day he can get uh, two three pellets on per feedings so that's one of the reasons because females uh, also get very dominant uh, after a while when you keep them with the males and they don't get enough of food then they start getting skinnier and then they get bacterial infection and then parasite infection and that's how they end up dead so keep these things in mind guys if you're a molly fish keeper or breeder if you're a molly lover because many people are very fond of these fishes even me be making a video on how to mass produce i have announced this earlier in my past videos so how to mass produce molly fish and how to raise the fries there will be a few videos on these series so stay tuned for that guys and so that's it yeah those three reasons definitely keep that in mind over mating because i don't think there is any video on youtube uh, you know explaining all these things and about the same topic which i am giving you guys info on so i hope this helps you in some way and your fishes your male molly feed them well and if they get bullied a lot separate them i have experimented a lot with them in cement tanks in plastic tubs in ponds in aquariums separately in community community tanks but they still end up getting skinny and dying even after every single fish is healthy in the tank according to me i guess these are the main major reasons so definitely you should keep these things in mind stay tuned for the upcoming future videos on molly fish within this week hopefully i will make another video on the molly fish so stay tuned don't forget to share this video whether you like or dislike that's up to you anyways bye for now guys it's 12 pm at night good night sleep tight and see you next time peace